Really cold outside, lots of snow. Let's talk about the blizzard conditions in bitterly cold air moving across the northern half of the nation. The intrepid Dave Price is in Ann Arbor, Michigan, home of the Michigan <laughs> Wolverines this morning with a little check of the weather. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you, Harry. Even the Wolverines are looking for warmer weather right now. <laughs> Another several inches of snow has fallen. Wind chills in the teens, and we're talking about a potential drop of between 15 and 30 degrees before you factor in wind chill through the day here. Now, it looks beautiful, but it is treacherous to navigate through. A winter storm is blasting its way all the way from the northern plains through the Midwest, and it's heading towards the east. It's bringing a one-two punch of blinding snow followed by dangerous cold. In Nebraska, wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour whipped up snow and caused immense problems on the roads. The conditions were, there's a whiteout. There's no visibility whatsoever. Several people were taken to area hospitals after a highway pileup involving more than two dozen vehicles. It was blinding, we couldn't see. I'm afraid to go any further. As the system moved towards the east, blizzard or near blizzard conditions were reported in parts of South Dakota, Iowa, Minnesota, and Illinois. Temperatures behind the storm will plummet now with wind chills expected in the negative double digits. In Mingo, Iowa, cascading ice leaking down a water tower is evidence of the bone chilling misery expected to work its way east by the end of the week. Now, blowing snow and poor visibility have prompted airlines in Chicago to cancel more than 350 flights at Chicago's two major airports and roadways like I-94 are slick and slippery and the worst isn't over yet.